Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm the designer and architect of the Maximo BI or Business Intelligence Tools. In today's demo recording, I want to highlight three new reports that were delivered with the Maximo 7601 and also 7508 release. These three new reports are all inventory related and specifically they are the inventory ABC, EOQ, ROP transaction analysis reports. These three reports supplement our existing ABC, EOQ, and ROP reports. The difference with these new reports is they take into consideration LIFO, FIFO. Our prior reports did not utilize that. Not every client is utilizing LIFO FIFO, so you may choose to use the existing ones. But if you are using LIFO FIFO, you may want to consider migrating to these set of new three new, new reports. So before I show you one of them, I just want to highlight some of the ways that you can find information on their delivered reports in Maximo. So I'm going to come over here to Google and Google is truly your best friend when you're trying to find information. And let me just do something like Maximo 76 reports. Let's see what, what re, you know, is returned. I can see a lot of information, but I've heard about this booklet. So let me put that in there and see what happens. As soon as I put that term report booklet, I get this link here, click on the link. And that gives me the tech note where I can actually download the report booklet. Now I already have it downloaded, but what's important to note in the booklet is that it gives you an XLS spreadsheet listing of all the different reports. But additionally, it contains a hyperlink so you can hyperlink to a PDF copy of the report so you can see what it looks like. So in my case, I've already have this downloaded and I've navigated because I knew that these were in inventory down to the new three re new reports, excuse me, um, for 7601. And again, as I mentioned, if I click on that, I can see a hyperlink copy of the individual report and I could scroll down there to find the details. A couple of things that I want to highlight with this is it gives you some base information in the new 7601 report booklet about the report and you could compare it down here to the existing one but this is at a very top level so to get more information you come down here to the worksheet titled additional report descriptions if I click on this it's going to give me the details of the three new reports but then very specifically it's going to talk about what filters we included Excuse me. So, for example, um, if an item or inventory is obsolete, it's not included. It talks about how the different transactions are rolled up, what exactly is included. So, it's really important to get an understanding of each of these new reports is to review the additional report descriptions. And you can see that for these three new reports, one of the most common questions we get on EOQ is how is it calculated? All the calculations are listed for you here. And similarly, with the ROP transaction data analysis, a lot of details as to how all the information is calculated. Before we leave the report booklet and show those in more detail, I also want to highlight some of the additional worksheets that are available to you. This next one lists all the industry solution reports in Maximo 7.6. But this is a very important one. What's the Maximo 76 updates? And we hear this a lot from clients. What reports are added and retired from each release? So if we look at it here in 76, we can see this is a new assignment manager report that was added in 76. But here's all the ones that we added in 7601. And I mentioned that we added three, but for each of those three individual reports, there's also an corresponding update report if you have the security rights. So each one of those is actually added also. And then before we leave the report booklet, always make sure the reference materials, there's so much information in Maximo for you to learn and keep familiar with. So again, we want to highlight all the report information that you can access. There's wiki pages, which is basically the encyclopedia or all that uh, relevant data about all aspects of reporting. 
the report documentation, report documentation specific for 7.6 because we had so many new feature updates in 7.6, demos, again, documentation, and the YouTube channel. Um, love the YouTube channel for being able to calculate and communicate these new features. Well, let's switch over here and let's go to Maximo and let me bring up let me go back here to Maximo and let's go to the inventory application. And I'm just going to run one of these reports so you're a little bit more familiar with it. Click Run Reports and right away, you know, even if I just did a filter on ABC, but in this case, I'm just going to leave it. Here's the two reports. Again, remember, we've been shipping ABC, EOQ, and ROP reports since the Maximo four days, but we're supplementing now in 7.6 and 7.508 with the new transaction date analysis reports that take into consideration and are very specific for LIFO FIFO. If I ran my inventory ABC before, I basically came in here and put in a storeroom and site, and I go ahead and let that report go ahead and calculate, and it gives me the very specific information. So you can see ABC cycle counts and all my year-to-date issue cost. But now let's go and run the ABC transaction date. And the first thing that you're going to notice is now there are date parameters. I can still come in here and do Central and Bedford, but maybe I want to reduce my query that I'm only looking at transaction dates for maybe the last three months, the last nine months, the last year, whatever that might be. And so I can query my uh, report or my filter to get that information. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a ton of data here in, uh, let's try 6-1, excuse me, I can't always type and talk at the same time. 2015, let's try that. Let's see what kind of data we get for the, the last 15 years in Maximo. It's gonna be a very similar report to what you saw before, but now in this case, I've got my date period. So I'm only specifically looking at transactions during that date. A Couple of other things that I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see that same kind of bar chart but look what happens over here. I can now see the cost type for each of my items. So if it's LIFO, FIFO, whatever it might be. And then I'm still calculating my ABC values, my cycle count frequency values, but it's very specific for the transaction date during that time period. So again, three new reports are available with the Maximo 7601 and corresponding 7508 fix pack releases, ABC EOQ ROP transaction dates, and they take into consideration LIFO FIFO. You can find more details and to specifically how they are composed by accessing either the 76 report booklet or the latest 75 report booklet. So you can see all those great details, transactions, how the average ordering cost is calculated, etc. So thank you very much for your time and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.